it is Laura and welcome back to my channel. So this is Confident Notions and I am here with yet another Dollar Tree haul video for you. Why? Because I have been to the Dollar Tree what I would only describe as an embarrassing number of times in the last couple of weeks. Sorry, it's early. I'm filming this before my meetings for the day start. So I'm going to dive right into this. I have a lot of stuff that I've hauled recently that I need to get put away because right now I cannot get into my closet and I desperately need to organize some of the stuff. Desperately. desperately. So let's get right into this. Just looking around at all. So I finally, 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 finally found books at the Dollar Tree. I don't know what's going on, but... I don't know if they just had like this big stash that like from Walmart or whatever and they're like here just take all these books but oh my god there are so many books and they were all like cookbooks you never get cookbooks I never ever ever found cookbooks at my Dollar Tree so <clears throat> it was out Friday night and literally like I found 15 books that I'd never seen before now don't get me wrong I did get duplicates of some of them because it was just way too good of a deal to pass up and I was like okay I can't not get like multiples of this for a dollar again this is where the sickness starts to come in you're like hmm it's originally thirty dollars but if I buy two of them and then I got two for two dollars and it's a great deal anyways um part of the reason why I picked up multiples is I need my coffee um I do have um I'm participating in a I think we're calling it like a comfort gift exchange um so I, you can choose like things like to help you make somebody feel more comfortable during this pandemic. So it's like books or puzzles or fuzzy socks or whatever. And I was like, well, 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 I've got a multitude of those. So I bought a couple extra books for that so that I can do that with the exchange. So I'm going to get right into this. This is a non-cookbook, but I've seen other folks hauling this before. And this was the Kathy Griffin celebrity run-ins. And, oh, that's funny. Oh, that's hysterical. <laughs> that's hysterical. Okay. Um, I've seen a lot of people hauling these and I thought, okay, this looks like it would be like super interesting and just read about all of Kathy Griffin's run-ins. This is another one of those books that I would call a bathroom book. So as I go through, like, as I go through books, like, if you hear me talking about bathroom books again, then, you know. But anyways, most of us remember a time when we didn't have phones to take into the bathroom with us when we had to go number two. So instead, you looked for anything to read, like the back of the shampoo bottle. Or if you were lucky, then you had some, like, comic books or some sort of other bathroom books that stayed in the bathroom. Fun fact, my parents still have bathroom books in the bathroom um, today uh so and it's the same ones we had when we were kids and it's like comic book stuff but anyway this is a fine bathroom book and uh so yeah i'm super excited to read this now on to the books oh sorry this kathy 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 griffin book originally retailed for 26.99 and i got a dollar a dollar mm. okay Next one I found was this Jane Green Good Taste, and it's simple, delicious recipes for family and friends. And I, let's see, how much was this one? I don't know. This one originally retailed for $30 US. Okay, there's a reason why it's at Dollar Tree because nobody bought it. But I thought these were just so like bougie, like fig and camembert tarts at this gorgeous tablescape. That does look good. I'm not a big fig fan. I don't mind some camembert though. Cauliflower and Stilton soup. Oh, this is the bougie book. Those pictures are gorgeous though. Moroccan chicken. That looks good. What else? Ginger and honey. I can't eat that. That's soy. It looks good. Ginger and honey chicken with soy. Except I have a soy allergy. Ginger almond chicken. Look at that. Fruit and mint stuffed shoulder of lamb. This is a bougie book. This would make a lovely gift as well. Just these pictures are gorgeous. Plum tart tatan. Oh, that looks good. Okay, I'm not going to go through all these. But 
$30 originally I got it for a dollar these are some gorgeous pictures in here but let's be honest if I went to Barnes and Noble and I saw this book and it was like $30 I'd be like girl what's your name Jane Green please girl. that's like a $15.99 book and I'm not like knocking it it'd be anyways clearly it's a dollar right okay moving on I also picked up this one I'm sorry I need more coffee I'm an octopus cup. All right, and then I got this one. This is Andrew Wheel MD. Fast food, good food. More than 150 quick and easy ways to put healthy and delicious food onto your table. And we've got this guy who looks like Santa Claus. And this book also originally retailed for $30 US. Now you get more book for $30 there. But again, just some like really like gorgeous pictures here. What is that? Green beans and tomato sauce. Roasted cauliflower. Hold up. Pictures are gorgeous. Prawns with garlic, herb, and wine. That looks good. Fish cooked in parchment. Spicy Szechuan. Zatar crusted chicken palliard. I don't know how many Zatar. Purple Peruvian pancakes. Anyways, gorgeous pictures in here. So, again, for a dollar, absolutely. Some of these, ew. It's nothing like that one. I hope I posted that video, but I got like that diet cookbook and they put that horrible recipe in there for like cold spaghetti with apple cider and raisins. I'm like, nasty, nasty. Okay, <laughs> nice one here. We got this healthy diet, healthy you diet. The 14 day for weight loss with 100 delicious recipes for clean eating. And this, is this sticker on here? I don't know how much this one was. Anyways, so this is also more of an elimination book. So, oh, I see. It looks like it started off like day one, you eliminate sugar, day three, dairy, processed foods, eliminate artificial sweetener, then you clean, healthy you. But some of these look good, right? Um, big bowl, maple, bacon, pecan, pancakes. This looks like more like a cleanse book, which is nice. But still, for a dollar, right? Does it tell me? Can I see what this was? Sorry. You gotta watch me peel this off. This originally retailed for $27.50 US. $27.50. Next up, I picked up this one too. And I think I this is another this is one of the ones that I might have gotten two of. And this is the perfect party food all the recipes and tips you need for stress-free entertaining which oh <gasps> cold sesame noodle salad with spicy peanut dressing oh my god i was holy crap this might be i got this i don't need soy sauce <gasps> rice vinegar okay i'm sorry so when i was in college there's this chinese i think it's a chinese restaurant um it was a couple blocks over from the University of Pittsburgh and I remember going there and they had this thing it was cold sesame noodles and it was you know you could get like a pint or whatever it was like one of those containers and it was like 250 or something like that but it was super cheap but it was delicious and they were cold sesame noodles and I have not seen them since like at any Chinese restaurant I've ever been to and this might be that that might be it holy crap I can make cold sesame noodles again Holy shit. I have everything here except the soy sauce because I'm allergic. But anyways, side dish entrees, green beans with onions. But this one is cool because it's got a lot of like additional information in here too. Um, yeah, I dog eared that one so I could crabby stuff clams. There's not a lot of pictures in this one, but it gives you tips as well. Like, like tips on like how to like put off a good party. So yeah, I definitely got that one. That's probably a good one that I would put in the like the care package exchange. And it's not through YouTube. It's um I'm on my sorority's national leadership team when we're doing it. Um across ourselves. Sorry, let me check the time, but I can't miss my meeting. My everyday 9 a.m. meeting. And <clears throat> I've got more. 
I'm just going to keep having books like in all of these videos until I get through them. And this one here, I definitely bought two of these. Baking. Ah, yes, baking with the Brass Sisters. I don't know who Marilyn and Sheila are, but this book originally retailed for Behind the Sticker. What's behind the sticker? Heal you off $29.99 for a dollar a dollar so look if you want to give me a book the very good orange sponge cake are there pictures in this one caraway seed cookies black and white cheese pie pie norwegian spice hearts mm. sweet potato drop scones ida's french apple cake I, who's aunt ida you got a picture <sighs> shut the front door Oh, I have all of this. There's French apple cake. With, oh, oh. Edith, it's a very good orange sponge cake. Look, I don't know who these women are, but if it's Aunt Ida or Edith or somebody like that, when you get some old lady names, you know that that shit is going to be good. If you got there, like if you get Aunt Edith's very good orange sponge cake, it is going to be very good. What's this one? Brandy Alexander cheesecake. Stop. How many things is it? Oh, only two packages of cream cheese. That's good. Cream cheese. Cream cheese is damn expensive nowadays. I don't know what it is. That's some BS. Nana May's Irish yeast bread. Oh my God. Stop. Oh my God. Oh my God. Seven tea times and coffee hours. Irish sweet bread with maple paste. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm just thinking it. Mm, this one is good. This one's awesome. So now for 12 minutes, I've talked about books. Let me go and show you some other stuff, just because. So I picked up multiples of these Orbeez. No, these are the Bubblies. These are the Bubblies. I picked up more of these because I had a great time with my cactus. So this one appears to be a, um, a bug with a bow on her head. And this one is, it's a fish with a pineapple tail. And then this one is a monster. And I think all of these here, they all have these secret charms inside of them, which are fun and they do move around. I don't know why it says they'll transform. They don't, they don't, they don't transform into things, but they cute. cute. I picked up a thing of this miracle nail hardener. My nails are generally pretty hard, but because I've been like putting on nail polish and taking it off and putting on and taking it off, it's getting a little, the edges are getting a little ragged. So I picked up some of that, although I did try this dip polish stuff that I got from Amazon. Maybe I'll do a review. I don't, nobody wants to watch me like mess up my nails, but I will say it was like $36, which is less than the cost of one dip polish at the salon. And then I got like four, like all, all of the activator and the base and the top coat and all of that. And it was four things of dip powder. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. It's making it my way through quarantine is all I got to my nail lady open. Food items. This is already open. These Greta, Greta crackers with olive and oregano. These are delicious. These are so good. The reason why they're open is because I had some for lunch the other day. You get four packs in here and each pack is like this and there's 130 calories in each pack. Um, this is Distributed by Soylen, Soylen USA out of Atlanta, Georgia, product of Turkey. So here's the thing. I ain't got no problem with things that are products of other countries like Turkey or India or whatever. Why? Because I have a mild soy allergy. And the thing about U.S. foods is we like to put soy lecithin in just about everything, but they don't do that overseas. So I ain't got no problem with these Greta crackers coming from Turkey. And they are delicious. They're, they have like a, like a deeper like... You can taste, I don't say you can taste the olive oil, but it's a deeper flavor. And these are delicious, delicious. To go along with delicious, these are open as well because I've been eating these. Um, oh, these sugar sprinkled coconut cookies. You get 50% more. There are 12 packs in here, 12 packs for a dollar. And in each of these, they look like this and you get like 15 tiny cookies in here. 
It's 200 calories for one of these packs. Um, this one does have a little bit of soy in it, but it didn't bother me. Does it? Soy lash with it. These are so good. These are so good because you can sit down and eat like one cookie for 200 calories, but there's something about 15 tiny cookies, which makes it like spread out and you feel like you're getting more bang for your buck out of your snack. I love these. I bought these one day and then when I came back like a day or two later, there were only two packs left and I bought another pack because these are so good. They do have a coconutty flavor, but I don't think it's like an overpowering coconutty flavor, but they're delicious, delicious. Um, oh, here's another Bubblies. This one here appears to be, I think a lionfish. It looks like a lion, right? You can see there's a little thing in there. Anyways, those are fun for like gifts um, or whatnot. And just to put in like your, your toy stash. I also picked up these mini peanut bars. I have not bust into these yet. Serving size, three pieces, 170 calories. I'm assuming these are gonna be like, um, oh, they're already, that can't be right. This can't be right. Serving size is three pieces. For 170 calories. You mean to tell me one of these is is 50 calories? This is just gonna be my YouTube face. That's my thumbnail. That's not my thumbnail. Well, that's disappointing. Mini birds, peanuts. Look, I know that six cashews are 50 calories, but. Come on, y'all. Picked up another pack of the Juicy Juice Fruit Punch for my child because she loves it. Then I also grabbed a bag of these Double Bubble Summer Splash Gum. This you get limeade and pink cherry bubble gum. I got this because I have not had gum in so, 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 so long. Another fun fact, most gum, even the sugar, like even the gums that aren't advertised as being sugar-free are full of sweeteners. Like if you ever look on the back of a pack of sugar-free gum, there's usually like five artificial sweeteners in there. It's ridiculous. Um, so I can't eat them. 95% of the time they have aspartame in them, which I am horribly allergic to. The only time you might not find aspartame in the gum is like Trident cinnamon gum. Because believe you me, I've looked. Anyways, um, this one I got because it's just sugar. It is 30 calories, seven carbs, sugar bomb gumball. I'm also on the hunt for the all grape bag. So if you have an all grape bag or if you find it, let me know because my husband is grape gum obsessed. And he would be so excited. He'd be forever excited. Oh, cool. I can get through this back here. Apparently, I got two things of the juicy juice. Juicy juice. Jesus, Lord, you can't talk. I also picked up one of these things of breadcrumbs. I had seen other folks haul these before. I've seen a lot of people haul this. And this is a good size container of breadcrumbs. I, um, god damn it. There is soybean oil in here. Well the rest of the fam can have this so eh. anyway so italian style breadcrumbs this is a big old can this is 13 ounces um tons of of that in there so uh, for mother's day my husband bought me an air fryer and i'm so excited i will tell you though he has used it many more times than i have so far he he made bacon in it he made He's made hot dogs, he's made, he made fried chicken. Like he has been air frying to his heart's content. And I was like, well, I'm not making it and I'm eating it, so go to town, sir. So breadcrumbs for that. Last couple of things. I got another container of this Kingsford garlic and herb all-purpose seasoning, rustic, rustic Tuscan style. If you see this, you have to get it. It's delicious. It's like one of the best all-purpose seasonings that I've ever tasted. It's really good. It, it's got a good flavor on it. Um, 
I mean, it's vegetables, garlic, onion, salt, citric acid for the caking. But yeah, this is really good. This is really, really good for a dollar. And Kingsford is a brand, I mean, good for them. Like they want to break away from like charcoal, right? And then I also picked up another thing of rainbow sprinkles because by God, I will need these for baking. Then I also grabbed this, um, this flower headband. I saw somebody hauling these and they said like this would be perfect for like pride for like pride parade or whatnot and it would be this is gorgeous like it's so cute for that but I don't know it was weird like I feel like I put it up on top of my head and then I look like an alien but you gotta put it down a little bit um anyways I dress up for Morgan now my hair is all weird then I also grabbed one of these I've seen this before people have been hauling this notebook carnet notebook carnet 60 sheets and it's two notebooks inside of here I'm already at um notebook and so it's just these two notebooks here one with the hearts on it and the other with the splatters and these are just lined notebooks really cute I think that would be good for like some fun mail or whatever comfort box and last but not least on this haul is I got one of these bubble bombshell um pineapple bath bombs. I thought this was really cute. I thought the packaging was fun. So yeah, so that was it. That was my, let me talk about books for a long ass time and then show you some food haul. So I hope you like videos like these because I've got a lot of stuff that I need to film. So I hope you all are having a great week. I hope you are staying healthy and safe and sane. And if your states are in the process of reopening, please make sure that you are taking the necessary precautions and all of that because y'all are awesome and I want to, you know, find out, hey, your YouTube chick got like some coronavirus, right? So I hope you're all having a great day and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.